Mastering English, Understanding, Work on Proportions. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're going to explore a phrase that often confuses learners, work on proportions. Whether you're an artist, a mathematician, or simply someone trying to improve your English, this video is for you. We'll break down what it means, how it's used, and give you examples to clarify this concept. So, let's get started. First off, let's understand the phrase itself. Work on is a phrasal verb that means to spend time improving or trying to improve something. Proportions, on the other hand, refers to the relationship in size or amount between two things or parts of a whole. When combined, work on proportions generally means to spend time improving or adjusting the relative sizes or amounts of things. This phrase can be applied in various contexts, such as art, where getting the proportions right is crucial to achieving a realistic drawing or sculpture. It can also be used in cooking, adjusting the proportions of ingredients, in work projects, allocating resources proportionally, or in personal improvement, balancing aspects of life. Let's look at how work on proportions can be applied in different scenarios. In art, an art teacher might say, your assignment for this week is to work on proportions, focusing especially on the human face. Here, the phrase means practicing to get the size and placement of facial features correct relative to each other. In cooking, imagine a chef instructing an apprentice, you need to work on the proportions of spices in this recipe. The balance isn't quite right. This means adjusting the amount of each spice to achieve the perfect flavor balance. In personal development, a life coach could advise, you should work on the proportions of work and leisure in your life to achieve a better work-life balance. In this context, it's about adjusting the amount of time dedicated to work versus relaxation to improve overall life satisfaction. Improving your understanding and application of proportions involves practice and observation. Here are a few tips. 1. Practice regularly. Whether it's drawing, cooking, or time management, the more you practice, the better you'll get at finding the right balance. 2. Seek feedback. Sometimes, it's hard to see where you're going wrong. Getting someone else's perspective can be incredibly helpful. 3. Use tools and resources. In art, tools like grids or proportional dividers can help. In cooking, measuring tools are vital. Use whatever resources you have to ensure accuracy. We hope this video has shed some light on what it means to work on proportions and how you can apply this knowledge in various aspects of life and learning. Remember, mastering proportions, like any skill, takes time and practice, but the improvement you'll see is absolutely worth it. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more English learning tips. See you in the next video.